What's up, everybody? Crams are here with Joe. No, Jason, but we're coming at you with an album review. We're talking about a highly anticipated and requested album review of Black Country New Roads, Ants from Up There. It is a very quick turnaround follow-up to their critically acclaimed debut, which came out last year. Um, us as a trio panel were vastly um, differentiated in our opinions of that album. And they're also in the news because right before the release of this, their lead singer said, I'm done. I'm out. So don't have any idea if the carnation with him as the lead singer is coming back ever. We'll find out eventually in the future. But right now, it looks like these are just the only two Black Country New Roads we're getting with the original lineup. Uh, Joe, you want to take us through what you think about the debut and your initial thoughts of this one so far? Well, I gave the debut a courtesy two and a half stars, but I could barely get through it. Um, just my least favorite style, that sort of beat poetry lead singer, um, Isaac Wood, is kind of talking his way through the whole album. I just can't do it. Like I tried, Lord knows I tried, but I just couldn't get through it. Um, didn't like it at all. So I, I didn't really know what to expect from this one. Uh, I read a, a couple of reviews of it and it did not make me feel any better about the situation, but I kind of like this one. And it's interesting because I, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I hear a lot of emo in this. Like I'm hearing like bright eyes fronting like Dave Matthews band or something like all those kind of like adult contemporary saxophones all of the like naughty like jagged edges kind of got smoothed off on this album it's, it's very interesting like not at all what I expected from a follow-up especially this quickly it's not what I expected either with such a quick follow-up I thought we were essentially gonna get um you know a, basically a sequel to the debut album I get what you're saying with that sound. I don't think I would use those um, examples quite, but I did make an example, maybe along the emo lines where at times he's singing a little bit like Adam Duritz of Counting Crows. Like he's a, he's kind of lovesick whiny on this album, but in a decent way. I thought it was great. Uh, I'm going 4.5 so stars, which is really great. I kind of flirted with five, just as I did with the debut, which also I have at 4.5. But I don't know if I like this more than the debut. They are pretty damn different. This one has a lot less of the stuff Joe doesn't like with the post-punk beat poet. That punk sneer is kind of gone. You're right, all the angles are kind of softened up. You get a lot of like Baroque pop and chamber music in here. It's definitely a warmer album. And there's like this really cool reserved anger in the vocals, which maybe the biggest thing is the vocals are all over the place here. There's a lot of more just straight up in experimental and instrumentation in the debut. This one has a lot of vocals and a lot of melodies in the vocals, but there's a really cool contrast with that, like more masculine, stronger, confident, more refined, like Adam Duritz kind of sensation that I'm talking about. You're getting pianos, horns, strings here. It's very less avant-garde. Um, and a little more straightforward, just like contemporary indie rock. Like the song Bread Song sounds like it could easily be a song by the National. Um, so it was very unexpected, but I'm digging it. Well, I mean, I do like it more. Now, I thought that was kind of be a bad thing. I thought you might go the other way with it because like it's so different. And because like, I don't know, it, it seems very middle of the road to me as far as like, the instruments, the playing, like I, I'm not overly impressed with anything on this album. I do like it a lot more, but like his singing on Goodwill Hunting gets to the point where he revs up at the end and he's building and building and then he just can't pull it off. Like he can't scream, like he doesn't have that next level emo kind of uh, resolve to like let loose. Uh, and I, I thought that was a little, I don't know, a little sloppy sometimes. And 
I don't know, like, I'm just kind of unimpressed with the instrumentation in general and the, the actual music. It seems very, like, simple at times. Like, the saxophone parts are kind of just, like, I mean, that's why I bring up Dave Matthews. It's like a, uh, like a high school band covering Dave Matthews. Like, they, they don't have any of that prodigious talent, but they're, you know, they're giving it a shot. It's, it's nice. It's pleasant. Um, so I don't, I do not hear what the critics are hearing. I don't hear what you are hearing. I just hear kind of pleasant, emo-inspired. I mean, Chaos Space Marine is straight out of, like, Jesse Lacey, brand new uh in my ears like that's all i can hear when he's he's kind of doing that that like sick transit gloria kind of thing um but i i mean i like where they're going and i think they could get to a place where i think i'd be really good but um i don't know like it's probably worse that i like this better like that's what i was expecting you to be like no this is the wrong way to go this is this is no good um, because I don't know, it, it works for me, but I have no idea why critics and everyone loves it so much. Reminds me of like Panic at the Disco at times. It's very odd. Other than the last two tracks, those two lose me, the 21 minute at the end snow globes and basketball shoes. But uh, I do think the lyrics are pretty good. Although having <laughs> name checking Billie Eilish in 20% of the songs is just too much, way too much. I love the lyrics. I'm cool with the Billie Eilish shout, out, shout outs. It's not as cool as the Kanye, way, uh, Kanye West shout out in the uh, debut. I don't hear any of those examples that you're throwing out there. You might be on an island with those uh, bands. To me, it sounds like, I wrote down, it kind of sounded like they're doing like a more experimental proggy, early young arcade fire with like the, all the Baroque elements. Which makes sense because I read that the bass player said they've been like just in, obsessed with Arcade Fire as of late. Um, but yeah, I love all the jazzy oboes and soft sax coming in. I don't think it's meant to take you on a wild ride like Dave Matthews or something. So I, I think you're just kind of missing the intention there. Um, I think it's just more atmosphere and gorgeous kind of simplicity, which is really cool. Like Haldern is really pretty and really lush. Mark's theme is great. I do think the lyrics are tremendous. I love um, and where he inserted the blade and where he keeps bringing up that every time I try to make lunch for anyone else in my head, I end up dreaming of you. That's such a cool, like little specific, like love fantasy he's got. So it is an unexpected kind of turn for them, but I think kind of you know, even though I, I get like you being antis anticipating me disliking it because of this turn. But to me, I think we're kind of just revealing what this band is all about. And they might be able to just pull off a lot of different styles and genres and have this sort of element that we can define later in the core. I think it's awesome. Um, 4.5 stars for me. Yeah, I guess expectations played a lot into this one because I was expecting like black midi, like, you know, math rock, jazz fusion kind of stuff. And threw me for a loop so maybe I just need a little more time to, to get used to it unfortunately this band is now gone I don't know if they'll replace you know Isaac with somebody else or if they'll do something you know if they'll come back um, but uh, I give it three and a half stars so I am I'm liking it I think it's it's solid um, but not not quite on your level as far as loving it sounds good um, well, let us know in the comments what you guys think of Ants from Up There by Black Country New Road. I know a lot of our followers really, really liked the debut. So interested, interested to see what this contrast kind of sound um, is doing for everyone out there. Um, stay tuned for more reviews upcoming. Um, hope you're enjoying the end of David Bowie week. We've got Roxy Music Week next week. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. We've also got links to all of our social media, plus our merchandise, plus Patreon account in the description as well. All the good stuff. Um, let us know what you think of the album, and we will talk to you guys soon. This is Cramser and Joe, over and out.